Hello and welcome back to my devlog. This week was real difficult for me, I had a lot of other work that needed to be done, so I didn't have much time for my game development. Furthermore, while I was browsing through one of the Discord servers, which was on Monday, I have noticed someone showing an amazing concept art, and even though I didn't have much free time, I still was drawn to this design so much that I decided to create a 3D model just for fun. Also, I noticed that it's been difficult to use my free time every evening because I was tired after my work day and that's why I have decided to get up around 6.30 am every morning and continue working on my game first. However, when I got up on Tuesday, first I wanted to make a 3D model of that amazing concept. When I started it, I didn't expect time to fly so fast. It didn't feel like 3 hours, but that's how much time I've spent and finished this work. I was really happy about it and maybe I will be able to use it for my game in the future. Of course I will need to ask for permission first. Anyway, the morning was now over and I had to go to work. Wednesday was the first day this week I finally opened my game project. I wanted to finish my main menu. Visually it was more or less done, but it didn't work yet. The first thing that I noticed was my menu buttons looking a bit flat. The problem was they didn't have any shadow under them, so my first job was to make that artificial shadow which is just a texture. I have placed it on each button and immediately the view was much better. Now making a working menu seems easy enough if I just press a button and something happens. Doesn't sound difficult at all, but as always I'm taking a bit of a different approach. First of all, when I press a button it lights up, showing that I have pressed it, and when I release it something actually happens. I think it's a good decision to do this, because when you press the button you might change your mind at the last moment, and just drag the mouse away from it and release the mouse button over an empty area so that it wouldn't work. I think it's always better when a player has more control. Unfortunately, this creates difficulties for me to program the menu. But anyway, my first job was to create a new texture when a button lights up. And that's what I did from the baked maps that I already had. This part was easy enough, didn't take me a long time and before you know it, I was done. I have placed all the textures in Unity and created my first script for the menu buttons. The beginning was easy, I just wanted to see how the texture changes. When I pressed the button it would light up and stay that way, which was not what I wanted. I had to add additional code so that it would react to releasing the mouse button. Then I noticed that when I pressed on an empty area the button would still react. This only shows how little I know about coding. But I only added the on mouse over function and it was all fixed. Well, almost. Now the button would react properly, but if I would drag the mouse outside of the button and release it, then it would stay lit up, so I had to add another function, which is on mouse exit. Now everything was fixed, I thought, and I was wrong yet again. I didn't notice any mistakes for now because the buttons didn't do anything yet, so my next job was to make it possible to load a scene or create a new scene. Now since I have only one scene, the difference between load and new would only be visible in inventory. My game saves automatically whenever I pick something up. So when I load the game, the inventory stays the same. And if I press new game, the inventory becomes empty. I updated the script to do this and everything looked ok, but then I noticed that my inventory would always become empty no matter what I pressed. Then I realized that the menu still had one problem. If I press a button it lights up, but if I drag the mouse and release it over the other button, a new button reacts. I didn't know how to fix this properly, so I just added a new variable which is a button ID, and now every unique button has its own ID. I made this to be sure that I release the mouse button over the same object that I have pressed. And now finally everything works great. Now at this point when I want to test if it works I have to start play mode every time, 
and this is really uncomfortable so I decided to make a new menu there was just one button that was missing which was to return to the main screen so I made a new texture for it and created a new menu window in my first scene I added all the necessary buttons and created a new icon that would open this window then I created a new script that opens my menu it would be similar to the script that opens my inventory I also added a gray transparent screen that uh, had a few benefits first of all it would prevent a player from doing any action on the map to avoid any bugs and second it would act as a return button in other words it would close the menu now it was really easy to test everything I could easily return back to the main screen then start a new game or load the previous one and that's it for this week doesn't look much but it took me quite a while I hope you have enjoyed it and as always any suggestions are welcome in the comments have a great weekend